When we personalize learning, we see an impact on student achievement. We see an impact on teacher implementation, and we definitely see an impact on how sites start to develop their own professional learning. Fresno Unified is located in Central California. We are the fifth largest city in the state, serving over 70,000 students at over 100 schools. What we did was we partnered with our curriculum team so that we could balance the digital literacy with good instructional approaches. We wanted to emphasize preparing students for the future, or what we call the as yet imagined future. We have to provide them the skills for like 10 iterations of job changes, not just what's my career going to be. It's one thing to say future ready skills. It's another to have in the instruction, the methodology to actually build those skills. Once the decision was made to expand the personalized learning initiative across all schools uh, in Fresno, we knew we needed a deeper professional development program that was much more systemic, that would reach all schools. And so that was when Education Elements came onto the scene and they coordinated and had a strategy around the professional development program that would support the personalized learning initiative. That was in and of itself way more important than the data analytics. The data analytics could see the impact that that professional development was having, but there's no replacement for managing a big system change effort that education elements brought to the scene. The bulk of the work was carried out through our partnership with education elements who came in and helped our teachers learn the foundations of how to personalize learning. We go into classrooms and we work with our teachers and we learn from our teachers. And I think this is one of the most important um, concepts about personalized learning is that we build from the, our teachers' super strengths and our teachers' assets. We would ask teachers, where are your strengths in whole group instruction? What are your strengths in collaboration and in independent practice and in student goal setting reflection? We saw student ownership significantly increase in a classroom where teachers are effectively blending practices. The other thing that happened was PLI classrooms saw a lot more use of digital learning management system tools and the digital apps. We wanted to focus on the digital piece because that is both a future ready skill in its own, you know, effective use of information com uh, and computer technology, but also it's an amplifier of the learning. We have to meet our students where they are. We have to know them by name and by need, and we have to be able to ensure that they have access to what they need to be successful. And so those, the tools that we continually provide our teachers with and train them in just allows them to do that. When I started here at Easterby, we were identified as a PLI partner site. And so um, what that meant was that we started our work with that element and we were able to train one teacher from every single grade level. We really learned that PLI really was about other individual student needs and being able to center our instruction around that. There's huge joy in seeing teachers change their practice. It's about transforming your practice in ways that, that has every student being able to learn better and when we believe in our students and we believe in the strengths and the assets their students come with, we start to connect the learning to those strengths and the strengths grow. When I think about the impact of personalized learning in our system, I think back to the pre-pandemic days. We worked with many teachers prior to switching to distance learning. And because of that, they were able to better transition into distance learning and support the colleagues around them. The results we saw from our PLI work in Fresno Unified was pretty amazing and statistically significant. We saw growth in both ELA and math California state assessments. Additionally, we saw significant shifts in teachers' instructional approaches and integration of technology 
in effective and intentional ways. Since 2017, we have scaled personalized learning across 57 schools in our district and we'll be bringing on more and more in the coming years. Additionally, next year, we'll be working with elementary and middle schools and we will be adding project-based learning into the mix. Education Elements has been an adaptive partner who's been willing to contextualize their wisdom and rich learning into our environment and adapt along with us. Anyone can start this change within their own classroom. Anyone can start this change within their own school. Doesn't matter how large your, your classrooms are, how many you've got, how many students, you know, how big your school is. Start where you're at.